have we heard about bollywood what is common between mahatma gandhi and bipasha basu when i ask this question you all will start wondering am i come for a online learning course for ifrs or something else very interesting what did mahatma gandhi do mahatma gandhi used to wear very less clothes and so is the case with bipasha basu so if i had to tell you a one line answer what is common between mahatma gandhi and bipasha basu both were wearing very less clothes am i going too much in a tangent let's bring it back to the line why did mahatma gandhi wear very less clothes he was acclimatized by the whole world for making it transparent to the britishers that time that india is poor and indians don't have even clothes so is bipasha basu who says that i'm beautiful and the best way to tell that is by wearing wearing scampy clothes so both were transparent about the indian poverty and the indian beauty coming from that let me put you to a riddle called what is common between mahatma gandhi bipasha basu and i faris and now answer will be very simple for you transparency transparency of the financial statement is the goal of ifrs principles over rules rules have become a joke i mean take the case of construction accounting principles construction accounting gets substantially completed under us gap if 90% of the cost have been incurred and at that point you have to stop the capitalization of borrowing cost now what happened with this kind of a rule rule means figures rule means percentage rule means some kind of a boundary and that boundary therefore everybody plays a game by saying that my cost completed is 89.99% and it never crosses 90% why because i want to continue to capitalize the borrowing cost and the accounts are manipulated ifrs goes for principles this seven provisions contingent liabilities and contingent assets <clears throat> by way of excel sheet please refer to that so that whenever we start a topic you have all the examples for that ready tagged available if you want to see million dollars damage so full 1 million should be provided for as a liability we solve now practicals and scheme b but once 08 and 30th september 09 this is ram mohan bhave having a chat with you just to give you the background of mine i'm a chartered accountant of 1980 from the institute of chartered accountants of india i am also the cost and management accountant from the institute of cost accountants of india 1984 i hold the degree of company secretary 1987 i hold the degree of a lawyer llb 1981 i also of course hold the ifrs qualification from acca london i hold the ifrs certification from Institute of Chartered Accountants of India. I hold the Six Sigma Green Belt. I also hold a certification in XBRL. And to top it up, of late we have gone into Limca Book of Records. Limca Book of Records for teaching fifteen hundred plus people at a time in seventy cities via video conferencing. I currently reside in Mumbai. 2000, I moved to America. Worked in America, then in Singapore, then in Australia. Again, back to India. I worked for the famous Reliance Group of Ambani's on a telecom venture, which took India's tele density from 3% to 90% in a span of six years. Later, I moved to Mittal's. Mittal, you are knowing that the steel and mining giants of the world. So I moved to London as the chief finance director of Mittal Group, 
and worked in Europe and East Europe. Typically London, Bulgaria, a beautiful city called Sofia, which is the capital of Bulgaria. Then I moved to Serbia, Bosnia and had a global outlook towards the IFRS and this is where I learned IFRS. So 30 years work experience and finally I got into the passion of teaching. And we have been teaching IFRS of different nature. IFRS for financial services, IFRS for conversion and this standard course of 80 to 100 hours of online training on IFRS. We have trained more than 500 CFOs. We have taught in seven countries including the regulatory body of Nepal, regulatory bodies of Nigeria, regulatory bodies of Dubai, Oman, Qatar. The number of lectures given in India, physical lectures held more than 1000 lectures in last three and a half years. So virtually I can say that almost 80% to 90% of my time goes into teaching on IFRS. And the last half of my career, that is 15 years out of 30 years, I have been into the area of mergers, acquisitions, valuations, IFRS and business study. Whereas we need to look into the IFRS from different types of tools, we also need to see how we will learn in this course. Point number one, it is an online course. So you can be in any corner of the world, log on to your internet and get on with the course. You will have the username, user ID and password as soon as you enroll. The book will be there with you. Okay. And you can refer the book, you can hear the lectures, you can ask the questions, send them by email and also the course will progress on a weekly basis. And once in a week, you will have a live chat with me on anything on a designated one hour. And this one hour, feel free to ask any queries, feel free to clear all your doubts. Uh, sir, uh, all the ideal course during the labor, in terms of labor, if some labor is ideal for a month, mm. so that amount has to be deducted or that, that amount has not to be accounted in the construction cost, sir? The, uh, uh, the uh, example solving part, uh, then you will be able to uh, cover up the whole thing. It becomes like a sort of jigsaw puzzle where you get the pieces fitted in and while explaining the case studies, I have again referred wherever the words or the uh, phrases in the slides are required. So do it together, uh, then uh, it will make a sense. You know, it's like uh, though we are virtual, uh, I would generally say you should complete slides as well as examples. See, suppose you had been here for my physical class, then yes, you would have attended six hours at a time. So when six hours you attend at a time, that, that time both theory and practicals get done and the total picture emerges. So according to me, your uh, doubt is right that when you read the slides as well as sol uh, go through the question solved, then together it will be give you a complete picture. Rest assured of that. That's how my people get 91% results. So the video lectures will be of course followed by assignment. Because uh, assignments keep us proactive. And I'm sure you'll be able to make those assignments in time in such a way that you will be able to absorb the IFRS application of principles when you have video lecture. With this small introduction, I welcome you to the online learning course 